all my gorgeous peeps in my universe or world of peeps. How y'all doing? Today I'm coming at you with a quick, quick, quick and easy salad. And this one, guess what it's going to be made out of? Carrots? Yeah, carrots. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be a broccoli slaw. Okay, so it's kind of like a coleslaw. It said instead of using cabbage, we're going to be using broccoli. Now, I'm not using the entire head of broccoli. What I'm going to do is the top part, I'm going to come back to you in another video and show you a really, really tasty broccoli salad that I learned how to make while I was in Mexico. Um, but I know I observed that when she was making it, she uses just the top part. To the, she, it's um, my, one of my nieces. Um, hi, Roxana. And that's Rosie's daughter. And she just used the top part and she discarded the bottom. But y'all know me. I don't spin it. I spin it. So I was thinking, what can I do? And then I thought, I put it in the search. I always search. And then I saw a broccoli slaw. And I went, well, that's it. I'm doing that. So the first thing first, we're going to take a bowl and we're going to hold on to the head and literally all we're doing is shredding. God, I would never have thought to use the... Yes, yeah, the top part. I mean, the, 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 bottom, the part. bottom part. Like never in a million years. Nope, me either, but I thought I ain't getting rid of it. There's got to be yeah, something you can do. we do eat it when we put broccoli. Yes, we do. And I've got an Airbnb today, so I thought I would surprise them with a little bit of a salad. Excellent. So this, and like I say, I'm saving the heads because I'm going to come back to you with another video. But this is just how you use the stem. Oh, All right. I would never ever thought this. And you're going to like this as well, Katrina, because I thought, look at that. See how that, yeah. that really cool? Yeah. And I thought when doing this, um, what dressing? Now I could just put a vinaigrette dressing. But I thought, no, a blue cheese dressing. Really, Mom? Yes, for really? you. Really? That's for you. Aw, thanks. You hate blue cheese. I know, so I won't be eating it. Thanks, Mom. But you'll like it. So, there we go. So, I've got all of that in. And, like I say, we're going to save the top parts because all I'm going to then do with these is I'm going to blanch them in some hot water. And then I'm going to pull them apart and then I'm going to make a salad. But that's another video. So okay. let's put that to the side. So we've got our broccoli. Okay, there's some heads in there. Doesn't it's a little bit. Up. It's just a few. Yeah. It's okay. Cool. Now, I'm going to now add some carrot to this. So it's really, really simple. So let's get some carrot. Do you know what I would um because we're serving this today, I'd yeah. do the sauce on the side just in case oh, they don't like blue cheese. Well I'm gonna make two because that because you know yeah. I, mean, I wanna try. Yeah, so it's not do you know what I mean? It would be terrible if it was wasted and I had to eat all of it. No, <laughs> I think I think most people will like blue cheese. Yeah. So that's that. And then to this, we're gonna just add some spring onion. This is so simple. Really simple and really effective. Hold so, on, I'm just going to shut the door. Okay. I'm still on you, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just cut this down. Let's get our spring onion. And you know me, I like to use as much of the onion as possible. Throw that in. And then I'm going to add some salt, some black pepper, and of course my love dust, which is oh, okay. Oh, okay. here, I got it. Okay. And now, let's just mix that up. Now, in this bowl here, I'm going to add 
first thing first, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. We're going to add some light vinegar. You need to add, because it's slaw, you got to add a little touch of sugar. Mm -hmm. It helps. So in the dressing, not on the... In the dressing. Okay. This is in the dressing. Oh, I need a fork. Oh, no, I've got a spoon here. Then I've got a lemon. Let's just okay. juice some lemon. Frida Kahlo on your Yes paper. it is. That's amazing. Yes it is. Got that in Mexico. That's really cool. You also gotta add a touch. Well actually I'm gonna divide this mm -hmm. because I'm gonna do two dressings. Oh no. You know when a bowl gets stuck in there. Oh the that might break. Hold up. Here we go. So, just divide that. And then I'm going to add a touch of mustard. Uh, in the fridge. I know there's some there. Look on the, just look in there. I can see. Yeah, I got Okay, I'm going to add a touch of mustard to both of these. So we're making two different ones. And I'm going to add a bit of honey to this one. Mm. So it's like a honey and mustard Yum. dressing. And then to the other one, I'm going to add blue cheese. Okay. So it'll be a little bit creamier. So a little bit of honey. Okay, let's get that. Let's touch more salt. I think it needs a bit more sugar because I know I see all the sugar settled. That's all right. It's got the honey. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. It's got the honey. Because the sugar settled in the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. And to this, you need to add a touch of mayonnaise. And then we're going to add... Now this would work really well if I had like a jar to kind of like shake it all up together. Yeah, so we don't have one, do we? Now I'm just going to crumble some of this cheese. Now Katrina, can you digest pine nuts? Yes. You sure? Yes. Because well, yes, I'm um, yes, I yeah, I can. <laughs> They're slightly problematic, but yeah, I can. So yeah, I think that. pine nuts will work really well in there. Yeah, it goes because I want to put some pine nuts in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to taste that. So, can you taste that for me, please? Just get your finger up in there. Tell me what it's missing. Hold on. Give it a proper stir. I couldn't taste any of the blue cheese, really. Okay, let me mash it. I think, yeah. Mash that. I can add a little bit more. Yeah. Because it is a feature in this. Yeah. So it should be kind of like a creamy blue cheese. Mm. Okay, you want to go give it another yeah, taste? Oh. Yeah, uh, once you've mashed it in a bit more, I think it'll be. Okay. It's weird, I've got all the flavours separately. Do you? Yeah, I've got the lemon and then I've got the vinegar and then I've really? got the, Yeah, and then i got the Little mustard cheese. and then i got the cheese. Okay, well, it's, I'm still working it. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this into two different bowls. And then, I'm going to mix, because I want to mix the sappy. Yeah, I think the back to dressing needs to be on the... Yeah. So, let's separate. So, we've got that one. And this way they'll get to sample. Okay, so now let's take this and put it through. And I think once it goes yeah, through. Yeah, and it sits for a little while, I yeah. think, as well. I 
and that is my broccoli with such a good idea. My blue cheese creamy sauce. Yeah, back in there. Back in there. And I just think it just needs to sit a minute. Yeah, I think so. So you now what I was missing was a bit of salt, but let salt? me just let okay. no, but don't right, don't right. Do that. let me just try it first before you put more salt through it. Just a touch. Just a touch of Not salt. Not too much, but yeah, it needs a okay. little bit of salt. Yeah, I'm gonna mix that through. It's really tasty. Is it tasty? Mm. I love the texture. The crunch with the carrot and the um, broccoli. And can, you, and can you? Yeah. It's really tasty. <coughs> you don't like blue cheese. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That was really, that was really silly. All right, I'm going to try this one. Mm. It's nice, really isn't it? Right. I mean, can I try it without the mm -hmm. blue cheese? Yeah, fresh. Oh, hang on. Thanks. Touch more salt. Yeah, more salt. Mmm! That's really nice. I think you're right. I think with pine kernels, I think that'll yeah, uh, just lift I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to put the pine kernels in now. Yeah. The pine nut. It'll, it'll lift it. Yeah. That lovely nutty, like, mm -hmm. flavour. Maybe even if you tasted them, but can you not be bothered with that fat? I think it would be really nice if you tasted them first. You should do. Yeah. So let's just let that uh, heat up. And no, it's really tasty, Mum. It's really tasty, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Too nice. Although I want them in this bowl. And very different as well. Yeah, different. So we'll put these on the table and they can have just a spoonful on mm. their plate. Yeah. I think it'll go really nice. Yeah. With my southern fried chicken and all the rest. And you see what I have here, people? What is that? I have made my homemade mica juice, which is hibiscus flowers that have been boiled. I have boiled them up. If you watch the video, you'd know Katrina. Yeah, oops. Okay, and this is the dried flowers. You just boil them up. Yeah. And it's really, really good for your kidneys and just for your digestive okay. system and helping you stay absolutely regular. That's the last thing I need. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. It's all right, it's nice, but that is definitely the last thing I need. Okay, let's get these toast it. I'm going to do a dry toast it. Yeah. I'm going to put some um, salt in with it though. So, okay, so my pine nuts are toasted. Look at that, really nice and golden. And they've cooled down. It's quite a bit, but you know, I don't care. Put them all in. And we're just going to mix those in. Give it a nice crunchy mm. pine nut and broccoli salad. Lovely. Get in there because it's good. So, we just got to add those to the mix, and then we're done. So, people, with a little bit of peace, whole lot of love, and so, from the mama, with her honey and mustard uh, broccoli slaw, and my blue cheese slaw. Try them both. They're very good. Trust me. I'm the mama. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, 